I'm your independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And we're here for Monday Fun Day. I'm excited about tonight because um, I've been using some tools that, that they're not new to me at all. It's just that I have not um, used them in a very long time. And I'm excited about them. So we're going to make this card tonight. And I'll show it to you. It's a very pretty fall card. Okay, so this card is inspired by Erica Serwin from, and she's a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and she's one of the rock stars. And um, she did some things with, um, with some texture stuff, and I'm just very inspired to just do this. So, um, basically the, the inspiration from her was having these clean edges here on my card and then using the texture paste on my bricks. First day of fall, so we're honoring that with a fall card. Alrighty, so we're gonna have our cut pieces here, and of course this is four and a quarter by five and a half. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just get all of this glued down. It's funny, you'll see all the Stampin' Up! people, we pick up a stack of cardstock that looks exactly the same on the front as it does the back, but we take it like this and we turn it over. <laughs> I don't know why we do that, but we do it. Okay, so this week is busy, and I had the sweetest friend. I just love her. She is, um, she called, or rather she messaged me and said, um, could she come and visit? And I am so stinking excited, I cannot stand it. And this is called Purple Tape. Like, that's what it's called. I got it from Amazon. The first thing you want to do is do like this or it will tear your paper up. You got to get some, you got to get some stuff on it, okay? Oh, wait a minute. Do it here. All right, on my grid paper, I'm going in one itty bitty block. That is a scientific measurement right there. It's called an itty bitty block. And I'll look down and I make sure that I've got, I've got my cardstock along the edge and I'm going to bring my tape down to that itty bitty block. So now I've got a smooth thing here. What we're doing here, this is going to give us this edge here. And it's also going to keep um, my cardstock from moving around. All right. So I've already stuck this to my shirt. And I'm going in on this block now, right here. I hope y'all can see that. Let's see. Oh, hey, Linda. Okay. Oh, I think I already said hey, Linda. But hey, Linda again. How about that? The joys of getting older. Be like, hey, Linda. Oh, oh, hi. When did you join us? Mm-hmm. All right, here we go. Okay. All right. So, um, I'm going to show y'all several techniques with bricks tonight. Okay, so now I'm going to put this guy here. And, th oh, this is a mask. I could have told you that, right? It's in the annual catalog. And let me get the little bag out here. Um, they're called Pattern Party Decorative Masks. See, I got to stop and, and teach y'all. I got to tell y'all what I'm doing, right? And you get this one, all right? Then we have this, which is kind of a, I don't know, Mediterranean, um, I don't know what you call it. But anyway, it's very pretty. And then we have the little sky. Okay, and then we have the brick one, which happens to be my favorite. Now, there's there's a right side and a wrong side. You can feel it. And um, we'll talk about this paste in just a minute because there's some things you need to know about it. First of all, I do have the Stampin' Up! Um, embossing paste. I do. Now, if y'all can tell me where it is, I'll use it. However, <laughs> I don't know where mine is. So I'm using this one from Ranger. Um, it's the exact same stuff, the one in Stampin' Up. Okay, so this is the Stampin' Up embossing paste. You can get shimmery white, which is what it sounds like, it shimmers, or just plain white. The plain white has a matte finish, and it's $8, and the shimmery white has a matte finish with some subtle sparkle to it. It's $9. Okay, so I've got soft suede. We're gonna, I, I almost skipped this step, y'all. Soft suede. I know y'all are surprised that I would have almost skipped a step. I got my little sponge that says soft suede. 
this thing's about to die. I really need a new sponge. So I'm going to hold this down really tight. Um, I could actually, and I think I will, just tape it down. All right, I'm going to just tape it down over there. All right, here we go. So I'm just going to put some of this on. Now I'm going to get really dark in some spaces. Y'all have seen me, y'all have seen me do this kind of a textured, uh, distressed, vintagey thing, right? Okay, so I'm going really dark in a couple of places because brick, you know, it should look a little different here and there, right? Okay, so let me show you first of all, that's where we're going, okay? Now I laid him right back down because I had a little hinge here. Don't be doing that because you can goof it up. Goof it up, people. Okay, so this is kind of like icing a cake, all right? Now, I don't want to cover the whole thing. I just want to just kind of put some on. Um, so I've got a little thing of water over there, and I'm going to dump this in there right away so it can soak. I'm really sad I couldn't find my Stampin' Up! stuff. Actually, I just quit looking because I had this, and I was like, you know what? It's Monday, right? Okay, so here's another thing. I can go completely smooth and make it just perfect, or I can come through here and just kind of pick it up just a little bit. Now it's going to get a little a little crazy, and I'll show you that when we get there. Just kind of just kind of pat it just a little bit. And we put all of this back in there, and I'm going to put the lid on. I'm going to put this guy in the water. I am going to scrape a little bit more off like this. And then come back and poof it up a bit. There we go. It got a little thick there. I got a little crazy. A little crazy with it. Are y'all surprised? I know you are. Okay. So it just takes a little bit. But it's just like icing a cake. And you just put it right back in here. And did it pick up a little bit of the ink? Why, yes it did. But that's alright. Okay, so it is going to dry very quickly. Not that quick, like we're going to do some other stuff while it's drying. But I'm going to pull the purple tape off. Now, you see I'm not tearing up my cardstock because I laid this tape on my on my shirt first. Now, I see these pieces just standing up. Now, bricks don't do that. So I'm just going to push those down. There's a few just like sticking straight up like you would, like you would see on a cake. All right? Here we go. Let's see if you all can see the texture I'm talking about. A little bit more right there. And like I said, you can do the whole thing or you can just, you know, do it like, like I did like that. And it just kind of, I don't know, it looks kind of European to me, right? Okay, so that's going to be drying over there while we do some other things. Um, we are going to get the big shot. My friend Robin and my friend um, Cassie. And my new friend, Miss Sophie, she, I think she's 11. Robin, is that right? I think she's 11. And my goodness, that child. I mean, there was no point in teaching her stuff. I just turned her loose in the studio. Number one, I was busy helping her, her grandma make a card. But number two, she didn't need any instruction. She just went, went for it, y'all. She just went for it. It was amazing to see this child how she um how she just took to all the crafting things i loved it and she she wanted to make some projects that were you know pretty detailed for um for that day for what we were doing and i said well honey we can do that another day well lo and behold she figured out how to do it herself and she sat over there and just did it and i'm like what and i think i've been bragging on her ever since okay so we just cut out Oh, y'all, I didn't stamp it first. See how excited I was about Miss Sophie? Well, you know, we'll just have to work that out, won't we? Okay, should have stamped that first, but let's keep going. I got a little piece of vellum here, and y'all know I love me some vellum. I'm going to cut that leaf, too. All right, and, and I'll show y'all the stamp set I'm using and the, um, the dies that I'm using. Okay, I did run it through twice because it's vellum and it's super thin. 
and I did want it to cut all the way through, which, you know, if I hadn't run it through twice, it might not. So there's that. Okay. So the big shot is over there, put away, and I'll show y'all the sets I'm talking about. This is the Gather Together stamp set. And I've already, I've already, oh, come on now. <laughs> I've already got my stamps mounted. And this is the Gathered Leaves dies. And y'all know they don't come like this, but I put them like this. And um, it's just a little piece of magnet here. And this is not my choice of magnet. It's actually a air conditioning vent cover from like Home Depot or Lowe's. See all the ink on my hand? Anyway, and I just cut it in little pieces, but it'll have to do until I can order some really good magnets. Okay, let's stamp this and see how close I can get. This should be like a little contest, shouldn't it? Where to put my ink? Here it is. Nope. Here it is. I'm using early espresso to stamp this leaf because I do... I do want it darker. If you look at this, you'll see the lighter brown, that soft suede, and the darker brown there and there is early espresso. Okay, no pressure. I gotta kinda get in the shot here, so sorry about that. Now I'm a little bit off, but it's okay. I mean, leaves aren't perfect, right? Okay, we're gonna do that. And while I got my Stamparoo out right here, and I'm just using, you know, some kind of extra hard stock here. And since y'all have seen the big shot in many, many, many different ways, I'm just going to run this real quick. Oh, come on now. There we go. All right. Just a sec. So this is the stitched rectangle framelit uh, dies. We, we called them framelits for so long. And they got a little um, stitching. And... And it looks really pretty, just kind of stitched around, right? Okay, now we are ready for this right here. And what I tell you, it's dry, 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 dry. Okay, let me tell y'all this. This ribbon, this comes in a pack together. It's in the holiday catalog, and it is called Come Together Ribbon Combo Pack. Um, you can get this whole set in a suite. And, of course, if you're a demonstrator, you get your discount. But if you're not, um, you can just order through my kathybow.stampinup.net and use this September host code here. And um, don't use the www. Apparently, that's no longer a thing. But um, you can order the whole suite. They offer it in the catalog, and you don't even have to think. You just get what's there, and boom, you're done. This ribbon is so soft. I was not even going to order this but I actually got it on the order that I won. And I was like, wow, that that's just amazing that I can just order, because I wasn't sure, you know, I was like, I'll get it because, so all I did, I did the cheater method. I just cut my piece of ribbon and I'm saving a bit of ribbon by just taping it down on the, on the back. Nobody's ever gonna know, all right? And guess what? I still have to cut one of these, don't I? No, I did. Where, ah, oh, here it is, yes! Finally, <sighs> okay, y'all, hmm, okay. So we're going to use our Stampin' Dimensionals. Ooh, look at me knowing what things are called. <laughs> okay, let me tell you about vellum. You don't want glue to be where you can see it through your vellum, right? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put this little piece over here because I know that that's gonna be under my leaf, okay? So I'm just going to do this, peel off the back, because Stampin' Dimensionals are cool like that. I'm just going to put it on right here, and I'm going to take this string, which comes with this. It's a, it's a set, y'all. How pretty is that? I'm just going to take a bunch, and I'm just going to make like, I guess they call it a little nest. I don't know what they call it. But anyway, it's just a messy nest kind of way to do a string. I don't know. I'm never, I don't ever feel really um, 
confident in this stuff because because it's kind of random and that makes me a little nervous you know I like things planned and yes I'm just taping it down y'all it's okay there's no stampin police there's no stampin police and here's the thing I'm going to be putting my leaf over it so who's gonna know y'all are gonna know I'm gonna trim this guy off just because that's how I am I just don't want a wild piece sticking out you know okay so I'm going to put this on next. And you see how I'm going to be covering up everything that I don't want seen? There you go. It's kind of like me getting dressed in the morning. I'm like, hey, we need to cover that stuff up right there. Right? <laughs> ah, okay, so tomorrow is Children's Hospital Day again. My husband is actually going to take my, um, my daughter and... I guess both kids. I don't know how they're going to work it out, but um, but I'm not able to go tomorrow. So um, I'm kind of getting the day off on that. Now, I'm going to put this. Now, see how this one, I've got it all the way up in the corner? I'm not sure. Maybe I want it. Let's look at it on the whole card. If you, if you join late, I created this earlier, just layers, just um, three layers. It's not a biggie. I'm going to put this here, and yeah, I like it right up, I like it right up on the corner there. Okay, so did I put a dimensional there? Yes, I did. All right, so here we go. Uh-oh. So, let's see. And so the UPS um, lady came today, and you know how they're always in such a hurry? Y'all, this lady, she um, she got out of her truck. She asked what Stampin' Up! was. And my husband told her because he went out to the truck, to the UPS truck. Well, I got it a little low, but that's all right. Um, he went out to the, to the little truck, and she got out of her truck and came over and was just talking to me and talking to me. And I kept thinking, honey, isn't your clock ticking? Don't they like, I mean, aren't they like savages at UPS? Like you can't spend more than... 32 seconds and that kind of thing, but she, she talked away, but, um, she, she had recently lost her brother, and, um, anyway, we, we talked a good bit about crafting and how she can use it in a fundraiser she's going to be doing in his honor, so, um, so that was kind of cool, so she may, she may be coming over to get some tips, I don't know, okay, there we go, there we go. There's our little card, and here's its its twin. What do y'all think? Okay, so let's do some more things with some bricks, okay? I'll bring these back out in a little bit. But for now, we are done with those. I'm going to show y'all how to do some pretty cool stuff because I am cool like that. Okay. This is a um, embossing folder, and I, I know we've used these before, but we ha I don't think we've done this. This is going to be fun. You take your embossing folder, and you put ink all over it, all right? I'm just going to go like this. Now, my, my season Stampin' Up! girls, y'all are going to know what I'm about to do. And that washes off so fast. It's just not a thing. Not even a thing, y'all. Okay, I'm just going to use this because it's available. So, put it like this. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, come on now. Hold on, let me redo that. That really wouldn't have mattered too much. There we go. I'm just going to lay it down. Close it. Um, give me just a minute and I will have this done. All right, so I just ran it through my, my um, Big Shot. And y'all saw me put ink directly onto the embossing folder. See what we get? How cool is this? Isn't that cool? Now, I, I just grabbed that piece of cardstock. It wasn't really my choice, but it kind of looks, kind of looks pretty cool, doesn't it? And all you got to do is just rinse this off. Any embossing folder you have, you can use like this. 
And you saw, all I did was just scrub it with my ink pad, and boom, there we go, okay? And that I do not have to rush to wash. I can just wash it off in the sink, and there it is. Now, you can, you can imagine, if you were to do something like this, um, using it on a card front or before you emboss it, if you wanted to do like a shape, like a circle or, uh, you know, something else, you would cut that first and then emboss with the ink technique and all that after because your embossing should be your last step so you don't flatten those embossed emboss edges. You see how deep it is on the back? These folders are just amazing. Okay, so I want to show you this one too. This is just like we did this one, and I'll show you how I did that. Let me see what other color we might want. Oh, that's blue. That would be weird. Soft suede might be okay. And if y'all have any questions or anything, um, it's easier for me to edit these um, if I don't have a lot of comments from myself. I mean, y'all can say whatever you want, right? But um, when I get to comment and I have to edit it out for YouTube. So um, if you have any questions or anything, just list them there. And I will glance over as much as I can and read them. Okay, so I just put a little bit on there. And I'm just going to put a few drops of re-inker. Um, when you buy Stampin' Up! pads, ink pads, if you get re-inkers with them, this one's soft suede. I mean, they're going to last you a long time. Stampin' Up! ink pads are amazing. And the colors that they that you re-ink with are perfect. Okay, so I got too much ink on there. But you see what I'm saying? You just kind of mix it up like a, like a, well, no, actually, that may not be too much. Kind of mix it up like a little paint palette. All right, so I'm just going to put it right here and do this. And it, I'm not going to tell you what it looks like, but it does. But, you know, it's all right because we're just going for effect. And if I'd thought about it, I would have used a color like blue or green or something. But I didn't really think about using this. And come on now, there we go. See what I'm just talking about? All right, here's one that's not colored at all. Same exact technique, but I just came through, and I mean, it is rock hard. Isn't that cool? You would love all white cards with those bricks, especially with texture. Yes, white on white, Christina. White on white cards with this are stunning, absolutely stunning. This past week has been rough, but you know what? Um, I want y'all to I want y'all to know I posted something earlier in the week, the armor of God, and I I was uh, doing a speaking engagement on Friday, and I don't know when I've ever been under such attack because the enemy doesn't want me sharing God. He doesn't want me. He he wants to beat me down and just you know keep me in a in a dark hole. And mm -mm, no, thank you. We're not going there. Um, and when I posted, God's got this girl, that's what I meant. He does. And um, speaking engagement went well. And I hope that I encouraged some of the young ladies. Um, I'm glad y'all got to see this tonight. Again, <clears throat> excuse me, inspired by um, the Pink Buckaroo. And um, she just kind of brought it out again tonight on her channel and I watched it while I was getting ready for y'all and I was like that's exactly what I wanted to do so all right love you guys thank you so much for hanging out with me and um please note my store and the host code and um I appreciate all the orders that that are coming in I need that I need y'all thanks so much god bless love you guys toodles